I'm joined now by Chairman of the Republican Party of Florida, Blaze Angola. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. I appreciate it. Well, right now, the process of selecting delegates here in Florida. Let's talk about that process. Does anyone have a chance of becoming a delegate? Sure, they do. Um, the process plays out. You can become a delegate one of two ways. You can become an at-large delegate and submit your name and an application to the Republican Party of Florida. The other way you can do it is submit it to your congressional district caucus. So whoever the chairman is of your congressional district, so let's say you, your congressman is uh, Congressman Bill Garakis. You submit it to that congressional district you go to that congressional district caucus, you submit your name, they all get together, all the party leaders for that congressional district, and they choose the delegates at that meeting. Yeah, and that's a process that's already started but continues on here, especially yep. here in the Bay Area. Um, Tuesday could mean a lot for the race for delegates, and that could really put an emphasis on how important it is to be a Florida delegate. Um, tell me about how important this could be if we were to come to that contested convention. Well, the state of Florida, we uh, are 99 delegates, winner take all, but we are bound for the first three ballots. So our delegates will only come into play if there is a fourth ballot. We then become unbound. But in a contested open convention, the delegates are very, very important. They will pick the eventual next nominee. Uh, the nominee. And I was just asking you, how likely do you really think this will be? Do you think that Donald Trump will get to his 1237 delegates before the convention? I personally think it's going to be close. And I think a lot of the pundits and 538 blog, which is run by Nate Silver, uh, thinks that right now the best bet is he's going to be about 30 short going into the convention. I think he's going to be a bit um, uh, sh more shy of that, maybe 50 to 70, but it's going to be really close. Wow. Well, what are you looking for in a delegate? Say you were, you, you're picking somebody. What are you looking for? What I personally look for is I look for people who have helped out the party. Uh, we are not looking for ideology. We are not looking for one person who's going to vote for one person over another person. We are looking for people with a history of helping out the Republican Party of Florida. Absolutely. Well, people are calling this Trump's a very bad week. Uh, several things happened this week. Do you think he can recover from a week like this? Well, what I will say is this, is that um, Mr. Trump supporters are very, very passionate, and the history has shown that um, they stay with him uh, through thick or thin. So whether this will take a uh, toll on his candidacy, only time will tell. Absolutely. And I know I was hearing that there were more Republicans actually voting here in Florida. We saw that in the primary. Uh, Donald Trump would take responsibility for that very quickly. Why do you think it is? Well, Mr. Trump, obviously, the Trump effect is uh, has taken um, uh, has taken hold here in the state of Florida, and we are seeing a lot more people register as Republicans. But I will say that seven counties has flipped have flipped in the last 15 months. But a lot of that not is not just Mr. Trump. That is the hard work of the grassroots Republicans and the county leaders in those states. Um, we are expecting more. Uh, I'm sorry, counties to flip to Republican. Um, and we're going to continue seeing that trend, and mostly because it's a rejection of the policies of Barack Obama, and they are afraid of a Hillary Clinton presidency. All right. Chairman, thank you so much for joining us My this pleasure. Sunday. I appreciate it. All right.